I'm Amanda from MyHairStylist.com. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some tricks about false eyelash application. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is, first of all, pick your false eyelashes that you decide to go in. When your false eyelashes come, they come pre-stuck to a piece of plastic, so they're pretty straight and they're pretty stiff. So what I like to do is take my false eyelashes uh, with either side and just kind of bend it. So I've got the eyelash with um, both my hands here on either side and I'm just going to gently roll it back and forth and what this does is it just kind of loosens up that adhesive bond from when they made the eyelashes and gives it more of a natural curve which will make our life a lot easier when we're applying it to the eye. Next what you want to do before you apply your false eyelashes is you want to measure them and make sure that they're going to fit your eyelid. Um, keep in mind not everybody's eye is the same shape so they make them pretty generic, pretty long. Um, easiest way is just cut them down to size. So I'm just going to get Bria to look ahead and just glance down to her knees, keeping her eyes still open. I'm going to take the eyelash center um, with my two fingers, my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm just going to try and center it on her natural eyelash line. Like I said, I'm just measuring to see if it's going to fit. If it's too long, chances are it won't be too short, but it might be too long. Um, and if it is too long, you're going to want to cut from the outside edge, purely being because when they make the eyelash sets, they make them a little shorter on the inside corner. So you're going to want to remove from the outside corner. And all you need to do is take a nice sharp pair of scissors or cuticle scissors and just snip off the excess that you need off. So a lot of the lashes you can buy at the drugstore usually come with a little bit of an eyelash adhesive. Um, they're latex based, uh, which makes it really uh, easy to remove. So there's a lot of different ways to do this, but my favorite way is I'm going to take the adhesive and it's got this tiny little nozzle on it. So I'm going to just do a small bead of adhesive along the back of the lashes on the lash line. Now you don't want to apply the lash as soon as you put the adhesive on. You want to allow it to tack up a little bit. So I take my finger and I just take off the excess, shake it around a little bit, a couple seconds, about 25 seconds. And what that does is it just allows the adhesive to tack up a little bit. It'll give you a stronger bond with the eyelid. What I'm going to do with Bria is keep your eyes open, but glance down towards your knees. This is really important. If you keep your eyes closed, really, really shut hard, um, you're not going to get an accurate, uh, precise application of the lash. It's going to it's gonna bunch up. It's probably going to buckle a little bit. When you open your eye, it's probably going to start to peel off. So take your fingers, your thumb and your forefinger, find the center of your eyelash and find the center of your eye. Line it up and try to go in at about a 45 degree angle down. You don't want to apply your lashes straight on because what it's going to do is it's going to create um, a really unnatural curve to the eyes. So once you found your center, try and put your eyelash on as close to your natural lash line as you can. And then just take your fingers and just lightly press the eyelash onto your eyelid. Try not to blink too much, try not to move your eyes around too, too much. You want to give that adhesive a chance to set. Another thing to keep in mind about false eyelashes is you're never going to want to put them so close into the inner corner of your eyelid. So looking at them now and just putting them on, you've kind of created a dead end there with that really solid black line. So I like to go in them with a little bit of black eyeliner and just finish it off. So I'm just going to get Bria to look straight ahead at the camera. So again, you can see um, how the eyelash, the false eyelash just kind of stops. So I take my black eyeliner and Bria just look forward. And I'm just going to lightly go in there with a little bit of black eyeliner. And all that does is create the illusion of, of a full lash line. So for more tips, you can check out my other videos on myhairstylist.com.